Oh, skin. I'm joined by. Uh, I should have worn longer socks, man. I'm gonna. <laughs> anyway, uh, joined by Blake Nicholson, sophomore linebacker, uh, our defensive player of the game. Man, you had a huge game. Eight tackles, half a tackle for loss. Um, I think you played, what, 55-ish snaps, something oh like that. Um, you, you know, you've really, you've really just kind of gotten more and more involved every game this season. And this was just such a cool, again, kind of, I guess, I don't want to say breakout performance because I, I know you haven't hit your ceiling yet, mm -hmm. but it, it was a kind of first, oh, man, really popping up on the stat sheet flying around and um i just i want to kind of start there and have you talk about you know what it's been like seeing your role grow so much this year even throughout this season oh yeah no i was bit, like just going out there and having to take on a bigger role is like comes with a lot of responsibilities whether it's watching more film um going harder in practice i mean every practice i'm giving it my all so i can keep getting better and better for the for this team i feel like that's the main thing with everything is just like we need to work as a team. Everybody needs to like yeah. work with each other so we all can get better. So I feel like just coming up in my role, I feel like that's my role is just to keep getting better and better, not just for me, but just for this team in general. What do you feel? So again, we, we talked during the spring, you know, you played mostly running back in high school. Yeah. You know, you've been here a year and, and you're clearly getting up to pace. What do you think has been the thing you've improved the most so far this season in the linebacker position? Uh, I feel like it's mostly just like being able to actually kind of like read the offense more, like know what plays they, they run out of this set or that set. I feel like that's a really big thing because last year, I mean, really my first year linebacker last year. So I feel like I was basically, I mean, I still am really a r rookie with the yeah. whole linebacker thing, to be honest. But I just feel like I'm able to like know just the different sets they, they use and they run. So I feel like just with Coach Shannon or just like help from Lundy or Juice, yeah. of like just us as a linebacker, we kind of help each other out in that sense. But, you know, I think just overall my game is just in every aspect has just gotten better, better. Yeah, no, absolutely, man. We, we've seen it. I mean, again, you, you've always had the athletic traits, but just, mm -hmm. again, I, I think the – the half tackle for loss you were credited with, you know, I remember seeing that play early in the game where, you know, you're just blowing up a gap, getting in the backfield and just, it, it feels like you, and really the linebacker court as a whole, but you know, you're playing a lot more, uh, what's the word? You're, it's more you're instinct. seeing it, you're going after it's it, right? more instinct. A lot yeah. more instinct, yeah. Is, is that something you felt more and oh, more? Oh yeah, for sure. Like on? last year, I know with everything, just like being thrown in this playbook while in high school, I really just played free to be honest. Now I got to, I got to use these rules, like there's rules yep. I got to play with. So I feel like my, like just that my freshman year is kind of just like me overthinking stuff. And like, I I was just, yeah, like I said, just overthinking stuff yeah. in general. And well now it's like become more of an instinct. Like I don't have to like think as much. I just get it done. Cause like, I'm just used to doing it. I think it's just going to keep improving with more experience too. Yeah, absolutely. And, and we've seen it on the field and uh, Dylan Rose got questioning in folks, throw them in the chat and we'll, We'll get to him. Uh, Blake, do you feel like last game was one of the better ones this season so far? Oh, yeah, for sure. I feel like really like on, on defense, we showed a lot of flashes. Like you've seen um, Pat, uh, Josh, Quinn, Ed. Yeah. And I just feel like this past game, we really like leveled up our defense and we just need to keep going and going and going. Because I know last week in practice, the intensity was 100 percent, 110 percent every day. So I feel like if we just keep with that intensity, we're just going to keep getting better and better and better. So, yeah. And, and how much are y'all young guys really pushing each other? How, you know, we've seen, again, a lot of young guys are starting to really mm -hmm. get onto the field. And I know yeah. Norvell said we were going to see that and seeing y'all hop on the stat sheet. What is there, what's kind of the vibe amongst the younger guys, sophomores and freshmen right now? Is Man, it, everybody's just hungry, to be honest. We hungry to go out there and make plays and just work as a defense. Like you can just see within everybody, like Conrad, yeah. Ed, Q on Quinn and, um, Juice, yeah. some, everybody, like all the young guys, we all hungry. We want, want to go out there and bend, like help the program. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. And again, we started to see it. You know, this yeah. weekend was really one before, and seeing guys flying around, making big hits, getting interceptions, and and all that stuff. Uh, Noel Bryan asks, what coach on staff, position coach, GA, or whoever, uh, would you give the most credit for your development so far? Oh, that's for sure. It's for sure, Shannon. I yeah. mean, he really taught me everything that I've. God, I mean, that's who I spend the most time with in the whole coaching staff. I'm always, that's like just how, how it is. Like I'm yeah. always with Coach Shannon. So I feel like he's really helped me with my game and it's completely just keep getting me better and better. So as uh, most credit I'll give to Coach Shannon on that. What is like, nah, how do I put this? Um, 
Nah, I'm not going to ask that. Well, um, you know, you've done these before. Sometimes I go to yeah. ask a question. It's oh, like, yeah. ah, I'm going to word that weird. Yeah. Um, so one of the things that I think you get a lot of credit for is your ability and coverage. Um, since you played running back mostly in high school, has coverage been one of the more challenging things to kind of pick up on? Or is that something that just be, you were naturally kind of able to figure out because you ran routes on the other mm -hmm. side of the ball? Or, you know, what's maybe the difference between learning the coverage aspects of linebacker versus the run stopping aspects of it? Oh, I feel like coverage to me comes more natural, to be honest. I feel like it's really, I don't, I don't really know how to, I feel like I simple it down. It's just like, you could really most times you could tell which route they're running like before they run it just depending yeah. like a lot of get like receivers or tight ends they like a lot of giveaways like tight ends and running backs run like they there's certain routes they really just don't run they mainly stick like certain routes so i feel like when i see them out there going to like run a route or something i'm like okay i, I can already kind of guess what you're gonna do before mm -hmm. so i feel like that's really i feel like i just always had kind of an instinct for coverage yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, actually, kind of in the coverage theme, a uh, hotchpot. Hope I said that right. Uh, asked, what's the key to communication on D? We see you guys talking more and more each game. What makes that happen, and who's leading that communication? Oh, I think, I think really like everybody is really involved in that communication. Like whether it's safeties, DBs, yeah. D line, linebackers. I feel like that's a really big thing. So I feel like. If everybody really talking out there on the field and we're all on the same page, then you can execute it well. Like you could, like you can even have something wrong, but if you communicate it right, it right in the mm -hmm. way, we still play it that way, and then it'll still work out. So I feel like just communicating in general, gotcha. that that's really just the key to success when it comes to defense. Yeah, because I think again, it's just a visual thing, but you know, watching y'all this past week, and you do see. It, it seems to like communication looks less rushed. And again, I'm, mm -hmm. we can't hear what y'all are saying. We're yeah. judging from hand signals, but you know, when guys are coming in motion, you know, you and AZ are kind of communicating on if you're yeah. bumping or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, there, there's, it seems to be maybe less hectic. And like, do you feel like it's just maybe being out there together more and, and y'all are getting more comfortable with how oh, yeah. you communicate or um, is it just all of y'all learning the defense better or what kind of goes into that? Uh, I think it's just as a unit, we're just getting more comfortable with each other. I mean. We lost a lot of guys last year, so I feel like by now, like, just we had to get used to kind of playing with each other. You know, people play, like, different ways. You just got to be mm -hmm. able to know how to play with this player compared to that one. So you just kind of got to have that with experience of playing with um, the team and stuff like that. So I feel like just with the more experience that I've had with them, I've been able to have better communication on defense. Yeah, no, it makes sense, man. Um, I, I guess the last thing I wanted to – to ask about is you know going going forward through the rest of the season what are kind of the main areas that you're gonna you you feel like you need to keep working on or, or kind of your biggest areas of opportunity to really become a lead at as the season goes on oh i think for me it's really a little bit of everything like i always try to improve my game on just anything it is whether it's, it's like staying low out there or just run into the ball like sometimes you like i feel like that's a really big thing that we've been yeah. emphasizing is really chasing the ball because I mean, like you, like a play could happen all the way across the field, and you could still be able to go out there. And if you put the effort in, you can still stop them from getting a touchdown. So I feel like just your effort and everything, just giving your all out there every play, and just like little basic techniques and stuff yeah. like that, just applying it to my game. But like I said, I mean, I'm trying to improve really everything in my game. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, and again, I think that. Uh, you know, as that all comes together, they all every, every part feeds off of itself mm -hmm. or each other itself. Every part feeds off of each other, right? So as as you improve one part, the other parts will get there. Um, but man, we uh, we appreciate you coming by tonight. Congratulations on the I guess the award we give out, but whatever uh, the defensive player of the week award. Uh, and again, man, we can't wait to keep seeing you light up these stat sheets and keep seeing what you do. And uh, good luck at SMU this weekend. All right, thank you. I appreciate it.